Tonight, 37 more positive COVID-19 cases were recorded. This was out of a sample size of 4,102, putting our positivity rate at 0.9%. In terms of new recoveries, 51 people got a clean bill of health. Unfortunately, two people succumbed to the disease on different dates within the last month. All well, this brought the death toll to 5,639. The national tally of positive cases is now at 322,473, while total recoveries are now at 302,744. Now, over 15 million vaccines have been administered. Of that, 7.3 million are first doses, while 6.9 million people are fully vaccinated. The number of boosted doses administered has crossed the 233,000 mark. The Ministry of Health plans to administer 4.2 million booster shots by June. Well, it's almost a year since Kenya started its COVID-19 vaccination drive. So far, 25.5% of Kenya's adult population has been fully vaccinated. The government intends to raise that to 19 million or 70% of the adult population by the middle of the year. Now, to ramp up the numbers, the ministry embarked on an ambitious plan, a vaccination drive, on the 3rd of this month to inoculate at least 1 million people every day for 14 days. According to MOH records, daily vaccinations have never even crossed 250,000. On average, 206,000 vaccinations were administered daily since the campaign started. Well, the top five counties with the most fully vaccinated adults are in Nyeri, Nairobi, Laikipia, Kakamega and Kiambu. The bottom five are Garissa, Tana River, Wajir, Marsabit and Mandera. Now, in terms of the vaccine stock available now, Moderna and AstraZeneca are currently not in the country. However, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and Sinopharm can be administered. That is a grand total of 2.9 million in stock and already to be administered as soon as February the 12th.